The Holy Scriptures of Freeman. Before time itself, there was Freeman. Before the universe, there was Freeman. Before dust and rocks in space, before the stars, before the earth itself, there was Freeman. For wherever Freeman goes, creation follows. Our story begins in 21st century AD, when humanity was at its lowest. The people of Earth were fighting, stealing and just being all around pricks to each other. All thanks to Obama. It wasn't until the battles of Freeman when Freeman returned to Earth gave up that things started to turn around, but we're getting ahead of ourselves here. One day in the local park of a small town in Algeria, there was a little boy crying. He cried so hard that all the Ebola fell out of his tears and he was scared. Yeah. That still didn't make him any happier. He was approached by a quaint looking man in a cloak. He had glasses and a curious but caring look in his face. What is it, young child? asked the man in the cloak. The child said nothing. Please, tell me why you were so upset, said the nice man in the cloak. The child paused for a second as the events that caused his despondency were flashing before his very eyes. The boy sat down with his arms and legs crossed. His body language said he was angry, but his face showed mere sadness. I tried, said the boy, but they just wouldn't stop. Who? asked the man. I tried to get better, I really did, cried the little boy. Please tell me what happened, said the man calmly, putting his hand on the little boy's shoulders reassuringly. The boy stopped for a moment, contemplating whether he should tell or not, but he gave in. I was playing Counter-Strike, Source, but there were some really skilled players on the server. The man's face sank down to his feet. They kept poning me warning me. I, I couldn't stop them. They called me things like noob and fag. I turned off my PC and ran away from home. Then the boy started hysterically crying again. The man lifted his hood of his cloak, revealing himself to the boy. Not in that way, you sick book. It was Lord Gaben himself, and he was so wise that he could fix this little boy's broken heart. Go forth back to your home and buy Counter-Strike, Global Offensive on Steam. It has competitive matchmaking so you'll be putting games with players of your skill set. The little boy's tears vanished instantly, and he jumped up off the rock he was sitting on and ran home. Little did he know that when he got home, he'd find that Gaben had already gifted him the Valve Complete Pack, so that he could enjoy CSGO along with other timeless cast classics, such as Half-Life or Portal. Is Gaben too? It should be and portal, but Half Life or Portal. <clears throat> As Gaben journeyed east through the desert, he came across a camel that was dehydrated and in need of water. He went up to the camel and knelt to it. By the power of steam, I make these 80% less heavy, and he performed the charm. He picked up the camel and gave it a piggyback ride all the way to Libya. As Gaben dropped the camel off at a nearby lake, he noticed something. The people of Libya were very bitter. They still had some pent-up rage about Gaddafi, but they couldn't take it out of him if he was dead, so there was a lot of fighting in the streets. Gaben had a brilliant idea. He found some rocks that had been put into a circle already, so Gaben sat cross-legged in the middle of the circle, closed his eyes and prayed really hard, like really, really hard, and so a massive circle of interconnected tower desktops appeared around him. He downloaded the original Counter-Strike onto each one and modified Gaddafi's face onto all the player models. Then he appeared unto the Libyans and said unto them, Take thee, and play, until thou anger disappears, for through the power of the land party, no man shall fight IRL. Then Gaben ventured off into the desert. As Gaben journeyed east through the desert, he came across a man with spots all over his face. Gaben approached this man with caution, although Gaben was immune to all diseases, taking a bite from the sub of life. But Gaben's fear quickly turned to pity, then curiosity. What is your affliction? asked Gaben. I have llama pox, explained the man. It should go away in a few days, though. This wasn't enough for Gaben. He knelt down next to the man and yelled, Through the power of the steam summer sail, reduce this man's itching by 80%. The man instantly felt better and thanked Freeman with a kiss on the cheek, which is apparently not weird in Egypt, but yeah, whatever. The man instantly felt better and thanked Freeman with a kiss on the cheek. Yeah, that should be 
David. Thank David with the kiss on the cheek. I'll, 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 to also correct lies, bitch. Which is apparently not weird in Egypt, but yeah, whatever. As Gabon entered Egypt, he was bombarded by a gang of thieves. He managed to fight them off with a combination of karate and big flats. But after they ran away, Gabon noticed something. They'd broken his glasses. After trading some steam keys with an Egyptian merchant, Gabon was given special red glasses that made him able to see in the dark. After going sightseeing in Egypt, Gabon decided to do what he came to Africa to do, break into the pyramid that held the body of Tutankhamun. Gabon climbed to the top of the pyramid using his extra grip shoes, got a, piece, got a pickaxe out of his Aperture Science rucksack, which was awesome by the way, and started digging down from the top of the pyramid. Gabon had already Gabon had already been hitting the gym lately, so it only took about half an hour to get into Tutankhamun's lair. When he got in, he put on his new kick glasses and started looking for the grave. He found the grave almost instantly, broke it open with a crowbar that was painted to look like it was from Half-Life, which is pretty fucking cool. He blew the dust off the lifeless body in the grave and woke the body with some smooth jazz. A soft but distinctive voice came out from the half-open coffin. Gabe. Gabe, is that you? It's been so long. It was Lord Freeman, and he had his dick out. Dun dun dun. Name, type your review here. Post review as action, share, follow, slash favourite, help, privacy, terms of service, top. I'd rate this uh, 7 out of 10. I would have sex again 